students in years 3, 5, 7 and 9 have begun a week of controversial testing which the government hopes will improve Queensland's lagging results from last year. You can't improve what you don't measure and uh, we are sharpening the focus on literacy, numeracy and science outcomes. But teachers are concerned a new emphasis on passing tests places extra pressure on teachers and distract students from everyday learning. Unfortunately, this type of testing, a point in time testing, is not necessarily the best outcome for all students. And in fact, we'd rather see the time put into supporting those students who most need assistance, particularly in literacy and numeracy. The government believes the tests are already improving teaching methods within the classroom. Uh, the most productive uh, and value-added approach is to do what the teachers are actually doing in the classroom and use those tests as a way of uh, improving their teaching day by day, week by week. The new standard testing began today with literacy. I thought it was hard but that was good because it prepares us for the real world. It was fun as there was like some challenging questions but there was also a couple of easy questions. Today's test comes a week before Queensland state school teachers will strike for 24 hours. While the union says schools should be closed next Tuesday, the education minister has assured parents schools will remain open with teacher aides in control. We've undertaken as a department uh, to ensure that there is sufficient staffing to enable supervision of students who do come to school. The minister can't tell how productive or disruptive the school day will be for students next Tuesday, but he encourages parents to send their children to school. Unavoidably, uh, that there will be a disruption to the normal instructional activities that take place in school uh, on that day. Todd Kluver, QUT News.